Welcome to the final revision of the Tiny Tina's Bunker and Badasses theme, which we will use as we play through Tiny Tina's Wonderlands on stream. This starting page is simple. The capture of Flame Rock came from the Borderlands 2 DLC Assault on Dragon Peak, as did our BRB screen. And as we move to the main screen, the transition you just saw is intended to be like a Hyperion UU Digistruct transition, where, you know, after you die, that's what happens. And so there's some flavor added around that as well. I see a lot of you idiots standing around and now blowing things up. Quit it! So welcome to the main screen. Don't think of your death as failure. Think of it as fun. Don't think of Hyperion's new U respawn charges as war profiteering. Think of them as war fun. So Hyperion's going to talk like we went through the Digistruct process after every scene transition, which is one of those flavor things. From the original theme, one of the things you will notice that is different here is I have animated the scales in the background. Um, there is a light that kind of shines across them to add a little bit more professional detail to what I'm doing. Uh, along the bottom, I have now animated the center box so that commonly used commands will show up in there uh, so that people who may have forgotten that they can do certain things in this stream uh, can interact. So... Otherwise, the concerns that we've had about maybe this box is too small uh, with the main screen in it, we're going to see. Uh, I do have another scene to use in case that is the case that takes the scales all the way to the bottom um, and maintains their animation while allowing me to increase the size of the main screen. Um, we will have to make some adjustments to my camera size and to the chat box size for that. But for now, this is how I plan to present the main game as we play it. Again, one of the things that was very cool about this theme was the use of alpha layers to mask in the video sources, both this camera frame and that camera frame or that video source frame. You'll see that it's only showing up to the interior border of the stencil edge and that the stencil itself is transparent otherwise, which is why I wanted to do the shimmer in the first place. But as we transition to each scene, either Tina now or Mr. Torg will have something to say about why we're going there. So let's go check out that BRB screen, which is now corrected from the first time we did the preview. Snack time! We wish you luck in getting revenge on those who killed you, unless you were killed by Hyperion personnel. So here's the BRB screen. It actually says we'll be right back now. Again, captured from the Borderlands 2 DLC. Uh, normally my mic auto mutes here, but this is just how it's going to look when we take a break. Let's take a step back. Simple inside of one of the castles. Animated flames, you know, let us, everybody see that there's actually still something going on the screen. And the music as well is taken from that DLC. I got Hyperion recommends channeling your post-death frustration into pre-death vengeful anger. This is the just chatting screen now. Um, it's done. It allows me to talk more directly to you with a larger camera while still keeping the screen preview up there in the upper right. I feel this is as finished as it needs to be to run Borderland or run Wonderlands tonight if we get the download done. So the thing about all of that is is that Epic is not allowing PC preload. So at 7 p.m. Eastern time, the game unlocks, which means we can start what is basically a 35 gigabyte download. That's not going to be quick based on how everyone's going to be trying to download it at the same time. PC players can play as soon as it's downloaded. They're getting a little bit of a head start on console players. So my start time tonight is various variable, depending on how fast that download occurs. But anyway, this is the theme. Hope you guys like some of the small changes that were made. Uh, we'll take the screen and its presentation as we go and uh, go from there. So thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you all later. <laughs> 